Hi, everybody. Peter Diamandis here. Uh, welcome back to our series of videos on the Life Force supplement products. Uh, we're going to be talking about a sequence of products that have come out as a result of the book that Tony and I wrote called Life Force. Again, full disclosure, I am, while well, I'm a physician, I'm not a practicing doctor, and I am a co founder of Life Force. Here with Dr. Hector Lopez. Um, uh, Dr. Lopez is the head scientific and innovation advisor for Life Force, chief medical officer and co founder of the Center for Applied Health Sciences, the chief medical officer of the Supplement Safety Solutions Corporation. Uh, somebody who, in my mind, has done more for understanding the ingredients of supplements, what, what ingredients are safe, and how to put them together to create a beautiful orchestration for the human body. Uh, a brilliant medical doctor, Dr. Lopez. Hector, welcome, pal. Good to see you again. Uh, thanks for having me on again, Peter. It's great to be on with you again. Yeah, today we're going to talk about uh, Peak Defense. It really has been an extraordinary product in terms of bringing you everything you need uh, to implement a sort of a more robust uh, augment, if you would, your immune system. It's not a simple formulation. What you'll see in these videos from Dr. Lopez is the depth of both his knowledge, the studies that have been done, and why he selected each of these components. I know when you go to the health food store or you're ordering on Amazon and you get a single product, you get vitamin D, you get NMN, you get zinc, uh, you think that it's just that product alone. Well, it's not. The, the immune system uh, your mitochondria, your entire health orchestration of your body is a very complicated system that keeps you in peak uh, health and peak lifespan. Um, and what you'll see in the sequence of videos is the extraordinary depth of the thinking. Uh, get ready to really understand and have confidence in the products that are formulated here. Again, I'm not a practicing physician. I went to medical school many years ago. I am a co-founder of this series of products uh, for Life Force. But I want you to have the knowledge because knowledge is the most important thing you can have uh, when maximizing your vitality and your health. Uh, let's dive in. What have you built here? Yeah. So uh, what we did here with Peak Defense is um, it, its predecessor is actually 23 Vitals uh, product that was mentioned in the book, in the Life Force book, actually, in that, uh, in that chapter, in chapter 10. Um, and so... Really, what we wanted to do here was make sure that we covered all the important facets and layers of a very dynamic and complex immune system uh, with so many cytokines, uh, such an intricate network of signaling molecules that are used between all these different white blood cells to communicate with each other and with the rest of the body and with the other organ systems and tissues and cells in the body. Um, and so often, most of the products on the market are focused on, quote unquote, uh, boosting the immune system. Uh, and they tend to be uh, less robust, less sophisticated. They're sort of playing like one note, one key, um, kind of like a, a Jimi Hendrix uh, song, I guess, uh, as opposed to really being able to address all the important facets, uh, all the tones and notes of the immune system. Uh, so here what we did is uh, we made sure to address the innate uh, arm of the immune system as well as the adaptive arm. Those are the two main arms of the immune system. Uh, they're governed by different cells, uh, different signaling molecules or cytokines between the, the cells that are used. Uh, they play different roles. The innate immune system is sort of the first responder, the early responder in the immune system, and it sets the stage. Uh, usually turns on the alarms whenever there's an intruder or a foreign substance, uh, uh, whether it's a viral, bacterial, fungal infection, parasitic infection. And then the adaptive arm is more of the, uh, the intelligence warriors, uh, uh, the snipers, if you will. They're very, they tend to uh, be very specific. Uh, the receptors can um, uh, interact with unique uh, peptides and antigens on the um, uh, on the uh, uh, sort of ant uh, on the various antigens, and uh, they tend to also uh, form memory as well. So there's memory B cells and memory T cells, uh, and we wanted to make sure that we supported all those 
important components of the immune system. Um, so that's that's what we did here, and and we used multiple blends in order to accomplish that. So just to uh, begin with, I think people need to realize how extraordinary and how complex the immune system is uh, in terms of the, as you said, the two arms of the immune system. And uh, your immune system has a multiple uh, layers of, uh, of value it provides. Not only does it you know, protect you against external uh, viruses and bacterial infections, it also is looking through your body constantly for cancers. Um, we're developing cancers all the time and your immune system, your natural killer cells identify cancer cell and zap it at the very beginning before it's able to grow. And, and there's a concept called immuno exhaustion, uh, which I remember learning about that, you know, when your immune system is overloaded, uh, it can lose its ability to handle everything it, it needs to. So really giving it its, its best, um, uh, you know, uh, capabilities uh, through a formulation like this is what we're talking about. All right, let's let's jump into your uh, your different elements here. All right, so again, we broke them up into four different blends, uh, and and they're really organized uh, uh, based on function. Really, is what we did. Just to, it makes it easier for the consumer to wrap their hand around it, for physicians and other practitioners who might be utilizing the product to wrap their head around what the product is doing and how comprehensive it is. So yeah, to your point, the immune system is incredibly complex with many layers, many facets. Um, it's, it's very dynamic. Um, I mean, the fact that it's generating 6 million new leukocytes or new white blood cells per minute um, uh, is just Crazy. staggering, right? Just staggering. Yeah. Just to be able to respond to uh, various um, immune signals, um, environmental signals. So the uh, immune potentiating ingredients uh, that we utilize here broadly help to train, remodel, and rejuvenate the immune system. And what I mean by that is it's really interesting because to your point, part of what happens as we get older and we reach a state where uh, there's a, a fair amount of immunosenescence and inflammation both taking place, um, one of the things that happens is we lose the diversity of uh, not only natural killer cells ability to respond to a more broad, uh, diverse set of antigens, um, but we also lose the ability of certain T cells as well. Uh, the repertoire of T cells gets more and more narrow. So what we do is we, we have uh, less of the naive T cells. Mm -hmm. And part of what we did here is we found some ingredients which actually just recently have been published to uh, be established to be able to train the immune system uh, to be less um, uh, exhausted, if you will, and to maintain its repertoire as broad and as wide as possible. Uh, and that's something that we might be able to do uh, well into our uh, elder years. So we wanted to also take the guesswork out of finding the right nutraceutical or immune recovery product to your point. Uh, the shelves were loaded over the last two years with every type of immune product you can possibly imagine. For sure. <laughs> so we wanted to just take the guesswork out of something and say, all right, what's the most comprehensive um, uh, immune support product on the market? Just take the guesswork out of it. It's something that not only helps with the frontline defense, not only helps with the adaptive immune system that you get with the what we call the specialized immune warriors, if you think of it as a, a as an army or a, a military sort of uh, analogy, um, but then also supporting all the organ systems that are needed because once the inflammatory sort of wave has come through, in order to address whatever microbial uh, challenge or antigen. Um, is, is, is currently causing the, uh, the infection, then you actually want that wave to recede and you need yes. a resolution of that inflammation, right? So yes. we also wanted to make sure that we included ingredients that modulate. So it's not just about, you know, you hear immune boosting. You don't just want haphazard um, stimulation or boosting of the immune system. Uh, it needs to be complex, it needs to be nuanced, and it needs to be modulated. You need to be able to ramp it up and then ramp it back down 
Uh, yeah, anybody who's ever had an autoimmune disease of any type, when your immune system starts attacking you, uh, you're in trouble. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So part of what's in this first blend, so the first blend is the, uh, we're starting with that layer of the innate immune system. And the innate immune system is uh, less specific. It's It doesn't have as much of the memory, if you will. There is some memory to natural killer cells and uh, neutrophils and macrophages, but then it's really the adaptive arm, which we'll talk about after this, uh, this blend that we address, uh, which is really made up of essentially T cells and B cells, the lymphocytes. But in this blend, what we did is uh, we have a patented uh, ingredient called resist aid. So resist aid is actually extracted from the larch uh, tr evergreen trees in the US, it's US based up in the northern latitudes. And these, this extract is rich in what we call arabinogalactans. Arabinogalactans are like a type of carbohydrate, um, almost a type of prebiotic fiber as well. Uh, they're also rich in uh, antioxidant uh, flavonoids. Now what's interesting about resistate is there's actually uh, human data showing that not only does it activate natural killer cells, uh, through improving the microbiome, improving the production of butyrate and short chain fatty acids from the microbiome, uh, which play a major role in uh, obviously talking to the immune system and keeping the immune system functional. But this actually does cross over to the adaptive arm. And there was actually a study with resist aid. There's about seven human studies total with resist aid, this particular ingredient. One of them, which was fascinating, is they actually used, um, are you familiar with the Pneumovax vaccine? I have the heard of it, yes. yeah. So there are usually seven uh, valent strains of uh, pneumonia that are causing bacterial pneumonia. Um, it's usually recommended for anyone over the age of 65. So what they did is they used that as a model, actually. Um, and, and what they did is they, uh, they had a placebo versus a resist aid arm. They vaccinated all these individuals and the resist aid arm had a more robust va post vaccination response yes. to the vaccine compared to placebo, which is fascinating. So it's, it's getting your immune system ready to respond. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's priming the immune system, if you will. Um, so, and that was a, that was a very sophisticated uh, study design, especially for, again, an ingredient a bioactive nutraceutical. Uh, another ingredient called Wellmune, which is also uh, patented and standardized. It's actually, this one is derived from yeast. And you've probably heard of the, this broad class of beta-glucans. So beta-glucans are also another carbohydrate uh, class of molecules uh, that also tend to be recognized by ba various bacteria in the microbiome in the gut. They also get recognized by natural killer cells. There are these receptors on the surface of certain white blood cells called uh, toll-like receptors, TLRs. And what they're there for is they're there to recognize these type of carbohydrates uh, that are normally present on, on the surface of yeast, uh, fungi, but also bacteria as well. So this refers to, this is the ingredient that I was talking to earlier when I talked about training, quote unquote, educating or training the immune system, natural killer cells, as well as the T cells. So the beta glucans have been shown to potentially be an ingredient that can help train uh, these white blood cells to be ready to respond to a broader array, a broader repertoire of different antigens that you might encounter, whether they're viral, bacterial, fungal, um, and, uh, and, and also at the same time, what you want to do is you want to have high signal and low background noise in the immune system. And that's one of the things that Wellmune has been shown to do in greater than 12 human clinical trials. Um, another one that's interesting is again, not just in sick individuals, but all healthy individuals, these studies were done in, even in endurance athletes, um, uh, they were shown to actually reduce the number of sick days uh, in um, post-marathon um, uh, uh, challenge. 
uh, and the number of upper respiratory infections. So really fascinating ingredient there. Again, think of them as educators that train your macrophages to respond to antigens. We also included uh, quercetin, which uh, is normally recognized in the geroprotective longevity community as being a, a senolytic compound. Um, in this case, though, one of the things it does in the immune system is that it actually stabilizes mast cells from over-releasing histamine. Interesting. And uh, quercetin has been used by integrative practitioners for a long time as an alternative or an adjunct uh, for uh, allergic conditions, uh, various allergic conditions. So it has some anti-inflammatory intracellular signaling benefits. We included the amino acid L-lysine. Uh, L-lysine has some data for uh, being able to reduce the um, number of days of a, of an out, of a herpes simplex um, outbreak in uh, cutaneous tissues and the lip or in the face. Um, and it also increases the levels of IgG antibodies um, uh, generally whenever there's an immune challenge as well. Uh, the last ingredient in the blend is an ingredient known as emodin, mm -hmm. which is found, uh, it's an anthroquinone found in um, aloe vera, actually. And uh, one of the things it does is it increases the, lysosome, the lysozyme activity within lysosomes of cells, um, which is part of the a white blood cell's ability to sort of take up any foreign matter or material and essentially break them down. Uh, it's, it's definitely one of the uh, major elements of um, autophagy, for example. So moving on to uh, the next blend in the uh, peak defense. Uh, so we mostly handled like getting that first layer of defense. Uh, um, again, uh, the innate arm. Now we move into supporting the adaptive arm. And so one of the first ingredients that uh, really anchors this blend is, is the 23 Vitals Immune Factors um, uh, branded ingredient. And basically what this is, is that it's a lactoferrin enhanced or lactoferrin rich colostrum ingredient. And at 500 milligrams, it can provide uh, these proline rich polypeptides and lactoferrin, which can improve the function of the gut. It can reduce leaky gut uh, um, uh, characteristics in various preclinical models um, and can sort of help already create another priming, if you will, of the uh, lymphoid tissue that surrounds the gut. After all, uh, well over 70 to 80% of our immune system at any given time is really surrounding our, our gut, right? It's the uh, gut-associated lymphoid tissue or the GALT yes. uh, mucosa. So what we're doing here, we're supporting both pro and anti-inflammatory cytokines. Remember we talked about the importance of having that balance, sort of a seesaw in the immune system. Not too much, but not too little, right? If you go too far in one direction, you get potentially autoimmune um, uh, uh, trade-off uh, adverse effects. But if you come, if you go too far in the other direction, uh, then you can have an immune system that's not um, uh, sort of is potentiated enough to be able to challenge. Sufficiently activated, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So you need that balance. And this is one of the things that uh, this, this colostrum lactoferrin ingredient does. We also did include uh, a black elderberry extract and elderberry extract is rich in these anthocyanins. And during times of uh, added psychological or during times of physical stress, um, it has been shown to be able to boost levels of certain cytokines, again, to bring that, that balance when you need those, those immune cells to be activated. Uh, things like IL-6 and IL-8 are more anti-inflammatory in nature. IL-6 is both pro and anti. TNF-alpha is a little more pro-inflammatory, but still critical when uh, fighting off viral infections, for example. Um, astragalus root has uh, been used in traditional Chinese medicine for a long time. Uh, it does have many different polysaccharide carbohydrate-like molecules, uh, and it's been shown to um, also have an immunomodulatory effects on T cells, B cells, natural killer cells, and macrophages. The active aloe uh, ingredient here is standardized for 
another unique polysaccharide called ACE mannan, which itself has been shown to stimulate white blood cells, but it also sort of um, uh, plays another role as a prebiotic fiber to increase short chain fatty acid production and help modulate the microbiome. Um, and of course, a an immune, a total comprehensive immune supplement wouldn't be complete unless we added something to truly support the microbiome. Uh, we've already talked about some prebiotics already in this in this formula, but we also added probiotics. So we've got a symbiotic sort of benefit mm -hmm. here. Uh, the DE111 is a branded probiotic uh, that's been studied in human clinical trials. It's a, a strain of the Bacillus subtilis um, uh, bacterial species. And it's actually been shown to, so we saw before we have some ingredients that are going to upregulate certain cytokines like TNF alpha. This one can actually lower it against to, to stem the tide so that you don't have too much damage uh, after the uh, immune challenge or, or infection has abated. Uh, and this was, this was a study that was done in Division I collegiate baseball players, actually. So they, they basically started giving these collegiate baseball players, they randomized them into a placebo versus a DE111 group. And the DE111 group uh, throughout the entire season showed lower levels of uh, TNF-alpha, and they had an overall uh, anti-inflammatory immune uh, uh, sort of profile uh, to their immune system. Um, and then when they took their white blood cells and they stimulated them with lipopolysaccharide, uh, which is part of the cell wall of uh, many gram-negative bacteria like E. coli that can cause very serious uh, sepsis and infection uh, symptoms, um, it actually reduced the, uh, the, the, their reactivity, if you will, to... Um, uh, to this LPS stimulation. So again, it tampered down and made their, uh, it reduced the background noise of their immune system again. So what we want is high signal, low background noise. Great. So we're not, we're not done there. So we went and, and decided we also needed to support the uh, multiple organ systems, some of which we were seeing again early in the pandemic that we felt needed to be supported. Um, and so how we did that is uh, one of the branded ingredients is called Opti MSM, which is both a methyl and sulfur donor. Uh, we use MSM in a couple of our other ingredients, as you'll see uh, in the Omega. We also used it as part of the Smart Prime complex in the uh, peak health span. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been shown to reduce NF-kappa B, and NF-kappa B is a major pro-inflammatory signal. Um, and uh, Particularly, it's been shown to improve recovery from exercise-induced muscle damage, and it can help regulate the immune response and recovery after intense exercise. The other uh, thing we did here to support uh, some of the secondary pathophysiologic challenges um, over the last couple of years is uh, we've all heard of the ACE2 receptor, of course. Here, what we did is we used an ingredient uh, which is a lactotripeptide called vasodrive. What's interesting about vasodrive is we're able to take a milk protein isolate uh, that's uh, uh, very concentrated in casein. If you inoculate it and ferment it with a probiotic uh, called lactobacillus helveticus, what that probiotic bacteria does is it releases these enzymes, these proteases, and it chops up the casein protein, the polypeptide, into these smaller little lactotripeptides that can then be filtered out. And those lactotripeptides act as um, ACE inhibitors. You're familiar probably with ACE inhibitors and in ARBs, sure. right, for blood pressure? Blood pressure, yeah, of course. So here we're actually able to uh, sustainably improve endothelial function, vascular support, and actually both pulmonary and cardiovascular health, including cardiovascular remodeling, things that uh, people don't realize the, uh, what we call the renin-angiotensin um, aldosterone system or the RAAS, uh, of, of which this bit major 
class of blood pressure medications targets, they have so many of these secondary side benefits. And, uh, and clearly it's, it's, a, a, it's critical to maintain the balance between the ACE1 function, the ACE inhibitor function, and ACE function, and then ACE2. So ACE1, uh, when it's overactivated in an individual, tends to be pro-inflammatory, pro-fibrotic, and pro-thrombotic, as well as increasing vasoconstriction, all the things we don't want when it's in excess. ACE2, however, which of course is the target of SARS-CoV-2, ACE2 actually has a very important function to counter what ACE, regular ACE does, what ACE1 does. So ACE2 actually promotes uh, vasodilation and it promotes an anti-inflammatory uh, uh, phenotype um, and it decreases uh, fibrosis and thrombosis. Uh, so one of the challenges, of course, is if you have a, a virus or an infection that attacks mostly the ACE2 receptor and enzyme system, you lose that and you have unopposed ACE1. You have too much ACE1 activity. And ACE1, of course, is the, uh, in this case, in excess, of course, quote unquote, the bad guy, yep. uh, the guy that we want to sort of hold back a little bit. Um, so we're optimizing the ACE, ACE1 to ACE2 ratio, if you will, with vasodrive AP, a good old, really, it's just a, a milk peptide mm -hmm. fraction that we're able to isolate. So fascinating, again, what you can do with bioactive compounds. Then we also included uh, schizandra. Uh, so schizandra is a botanical uh, berry, uh, very common in Southeast Asia. Uh, it contains certain lignans um, that can lower the secretion of cytokines, um, and it also decreases that overactivation of macrophages to um, uh, that LPS or lipopolysaccharides we talked about before. So again, bringing that balance to the immune system. And then the final ingredient in this blend to support general overall health and, um, and cytokine balance is birch, uh, birch tree extract. Fascinating. So the birch tree extract contains um, these triterpenes, um, one of which is called betulinic acid, and, and it has immunomodulatory anti-inflammatory benefits. Um, it balances and decreases uh, an overactive cell-mediated immune response um, to sort of hold back that potential runaway cytokine storm or one runaway cytokine activity but wait yet there's more <laughs> and then there's more yeah but wait there's more so this is this is the the i guess the the least sexy um uh blend uh, in the formula right because this is the stuff that everyone's already told the fundamentals right the foundation so of course you still need to address the foundation um uh and so we we still did that we made sure we had enough vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc, selenium, and copper to really make sure that we're supporting all those key uh, enzymes and cellular functions within the immune system and the white blood cells, natural killer cells, uh, T helper cell function. Uh, they all really still need the, the critical vitamin mineral blend or foundations to function at their best. Um, you know, vitamin D, for example, uh, has been shown to be important in uh, increasing the production of uh, uh, cathelicidin or cathelicidin. Um, and that's one of those antimicrobial uh, peptides that's released by white blood cells. Uh, but at the same time, it decreases uh, pro-inflammatory cytokine production. So again, vitamin D in and of itself, it's one of the reasons why it's so highly associated with a, a well-functioning, robust immune response. Um, again, not too much, not too little, but finding or striking that, that nuanced balance mm -hmm. um, um, of a young, healthy, youthful uh, immune system, if you will. Uh, we also make sure that copper was in here. Many products that contain zinc don't use copper, and that's important because they do compete with each other and in certain individuals, we've seen it clinically, where individuals that over, get overzealous with zinc in isolation, mm -hmm. uh, they tend to deplete 
their copper status. And that's critical because copper is important in and of itself for immune function, but also to make sure that iron, um, uh, free iron doesn't, doesn't run amok and cause excessive um, hemochromatosis or, or, or oxidation and oxidative stress. So there you have it. I think it's a, a tour de force for the immune system. <laughs> it's, it's, it really is incredible um, uh, the way you pull together all of these elements. Let's talk about, so this is a powder. Uh, what are you dissolving it in? And what time of day are you taking it? Is this something you're taking every day? Talk to us about dosing here. Yeah, so uh, it is a powder. Um, uh, currently, it comes in an orange, like creamsicle type flavor. I've got my uh, my peak defense right here, uh, and it's dissolved in typically uh, a cold or warm water. Uh, yeah, usually cold water. Uh, it's just uh, these fruit like uh, flavors that they tend to do better in uh, chilled or colder water. Uh, most people that um, that are enjoying using Peak Defense, uh, they take a serving actually as if they're working out, if they're exercising regularly, they're using it as a recovery product, actually, because many of the ingredients, as you can imagine here, are important for post exercise recovery. So what they're doing is they're putting it in their smoothie. If they're having a smoothie post workout, for example, that's one option. You put a scoop in your post workout smoothie. If, you're used to doing something like that. Um, otherwise, you can take it at any time of day. There's nothing in here that's going to be uh, activating uh, to the immune system that'll prevent you from going to bed if you take it at night. Uh, but most people I know take it in the morning or they take it post-workout or after a walk uh, if they're not working out or not training hard on that day, but they're just doing their, you know, one of their walks just after coming back from a walk. It's a nice way to rehydrate anyway. Uh, you've got some some minerals and electrolytes in here as well anyway. So um, uh, again, it's a, a pretty versatile product yeah, in general. Fantastic. Dr. Lopez, thank you for that tour de force. Uh, it's an extraordinary product that you've put together um, and, uh, and one that, you know, listen, this pandemic, I like to say it was a practice pandemic for us. I got us sensitized to what is out there um, and not the first and not most definitely the last. So uh, thank you for, for this. You know, it's, it's, it is crazy how many different products are on, on the marketplace and how people just gravitate and focus on just zinc or just vitamin D and uh, uh, just the extended knowledge you brought to the table here is, is amazing. Thank you for uh, the, the conversation, uh, a real pleasure. Excellent. My pleasure, Peter. Thank you.